you have no kids. No kids. 52 years old, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to guess that you have not been using condoms every time. Uh, well, I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been all kind of porn stars. I buy Magnums by the 36 box. By the 36 box. I've definitely uh, run out quite often, but yeah, you're right. It's not always a condom thing, man. Yeah. You, you, you get people that you trust. You get people that over the years you did, did some gambling and whatnot, but you know, so far so good. And I, I spent a lot of my young years doing what everybody else did. When I was very young, high school actually, I got a girl pregnant. She had an abortion. Oh, you got a girl pregnant in high school? Yeah, that child would have been in their 30s by now. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, okay, and you, you know, got, um, and you, did uh, you pay for the abortion? Uh, I don't think I did. I think we were young, man. I don't, okay. I don't, that, and then probably a couple more times in my life, been in the same situation. I had a girlfriend who had a miscarriage. I mean, these are all things that happened before I turned 25. Okay. So, but you were already a rap star by 25. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, at some point I started making a lot of money and I started seeing, you know, my homies who had kids at young ages and these kids are like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 at the time and what they're going through with the courts and, and not being responsible, some of them. And, you know, just the drama with the baby mamas and stuff. And I just, I, I looked at where I was at in life and I made a decision to myself in my mid 20s that I just didn't want to be a baby daddy and I was having fun. I didn't really want the, you know, I didn't want the responsibility of being this party guy who got a, you know, you know, a family and I'm like, I, I'm like the tug of war. I've seen so many people do it. I didn't want to do it. Okay. So I, I avoided that shit by using a lot of condoms and by doing a lot of pulling out. Um, I, you know, I made it, I made it fun when I had to. Like, you're the, you're the pull-out king. And, and, you know, girls get mad at you sometimes for that shit. They're like, they're like, why you always do that shit? And I'm like... I'm not trying to get you pregnant. I'm like, it's a habit. <laughs> so, uh, then I got to my 40s, man, and I didn't really feel so strongly about not making babies in my 40s. I've even had a couple of... Uh, I've been in the court a couple of times with being accused of being the father. And oh, really? And, and they weren't mine. So women have taken you to court and said, I am absolutely sure Too Short is the father. Yeah, I got that letter that said, um, if you don't appear on such and such date, you are automatically the father. Oh, wow. And, you okay. Know, like, and, you know, some people ignore that letter. And then you got 18 <laughs> years of payments for a child that might not be yours. And, and they're not going to take the DNA test at that point because they have a guaranteed check on no, the you're, letter. Yeah, you're you're done. Like you, it's, I don't even know how, I don't know how you reverse that. that. That's a real thing. You could become a default a default father <laughs> by yeah, not like, showing up to ignoring, court. Ignoring paperwork, yep. Wow. Okay. So you had a Check couple of comments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure the people are going to chime in on this. So, okay. Did you ever get a vasectomy? No. What, I don't even know what that is. What is that? that that's when they um, they make, do that little operation. You can't make babies. Where yeah, you can't get anyone pregnant. Nah. I um. Because I just had interviewed Warren Sapp. Did you get a vasectomy done? Or yeah, I got kicked just... in the bra. I'm good. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, you I'm got the vasectomy. In the yeah, I'm done. Why do you think so few men actually do this? I think they really are going on that old spell. You know, because that was a horror story. Your balls are dropped and this and that and you be messed up for life. It's outpatient. Yeah, it's a I laser. Heard. Yeah. Yeah, but most guys don't know this because they're thinking of the old days when they used to cut you open and whatever they used to do. I mean, guys used to come with like appendectomy marks out. No, I, I do have intentions of a, a family in the future. I'm, I'm actually, uh, I've, I've changed my outlook on I was just telling you that, like, I got to my 40s, and I started feeling a different way. I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I used to resist it. Mm-hmm. So f- since my, like, mid-40s, I kind of just been, like, going with the flow, you know? I'm not resisting it. I'm not trying to make it happen. I'm just going with So the if flow. someone gets pregnant, they get pregnant. You're not going to the abortion clinic anymore. No. I'm actually, uh, bro, I, you, you know. You, you might get married? I might. I might too short might start a family, man. Just just hang tight. We don't wanna, okay. We don't I'm, wanna... I'm excited. Yo, I want to get I want to get the invite to the wedding. I'm just I'm just putting that out there. If there is a wedding, a too short wedding, or well, the bachelor party, of course, <laughs> <laughs> but the wedding as well. I'll, I'll pull out a suit. Hey, hey, man. Hey, man. Listen. There comes a time. There comes a time. I you mean, maturity. If you asked me this question ten years ago, I'd have been like, "Fuck no." 
but you know, yeah, I'm a different guy now. 